I am absolutely in love with my base. I think this skeleton is looking awesome. I think my ship is looking awesome. And especially, I think my roof is looking incredible. Last episode, we spent a lot of time constructing this roof. I've actually finished the cupola. Uh, last episode, I had built a cupola, but I wasn't too happy with it. So I made it a lot larger. I've added in this thing at the top and it is looking a lot better than it did before and I've also added in all of this lighting in here and I've got to say this looks awesome and I'm also happy with the fact that this has started to turn into deoxidized copper you can see big patches of it over here for example uh, some on the sides you get it quite a bit and the rate at which this is oxidizing is absolutely perfect oh actually look we've actually got some of the next level here in this corner already that is cool so very happy with the progress on the base there's a few things we still need to do and there's a definitely a lot of exhibits we need to add in but i think it's time to take a bit of a break from the structure and actually work on some of our other projects today and before i start anything i want to check if we made any more profits here in our capitalism shop i think we've had another purchase Yes! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh my god! Like four days ago, I had nine diamonds in the entire world. And look at me now, over, over a stack of diamond blocks. I also heard there's a new shop here. This is Ellie's terracotta shop. And uh, it's in the shape of the Avengers Tower, which looks really, really cool. I really like this shop, it's really cool. Oh, I may have to come and buy some terracotta at some point. But no, the main things I want to work on today are the games in the gaming district and our big mini game underneath the shopping district. Because we've been doing some intermittent work on both of these and I think it's time we actually get some really, really good progress here. And actually, let's start with this one here. Now in this location, I wanted to construct some kind of combination lock now i have designed a combination lock before but i honestly have completely forgotten how to do these so uh, i'm gonna uh, try and see if i can remember now i could look up a mumbo jumbo video on how to do a combination lock but i kind of want to design it myself it's a bit of a challenge i'm setting up on myself hmm so i think this is the start of our feed tape right let's try the system so if i press this button we have first this set of pistols extends then afterwards this set of pistons extends now i just need to connect these other pistons up here and yeah i should have a working system i think okay i think the first piece of the combination lock is done the redstone is very messy um, but as long as it works i think i'll be happy so with any luck, that should change the feed. Uh, I think that worked. All right, all right, that's the first part of the feed tape. That's good. Right, and I now need to build the second combination piece. Okay, I think the redstone is complete for this upper part. If you press any of these buttons, uh, the respective colours will go through. I know we don't have colours at the moment, we only have bricks. <laughs> just, just, just look at this. Man, I've, uh, I've outdone myself with uh, the amount of mess this redstone has today. Um, but it does work and that's the important thing. However, I'm not completely finished. I've got to do a different system uh, underneath here, which is actually going to be the part that's going to unlock the next key so i think we've actually got this entire thing working uh, at the moment the correct combination has been inputted and as you can see we've got a signal coming out of it um, and this will be the signal that will unlock the next key however if i now go and change some of that combination all right so i mix this up a bit And as you can see, that light has now gone off. So last thing I need to do is to connect this line with the line down there. Okay, key three is now connected. So once that puzzle is solved, 
that's going to set off key number three. So that's perfect. Right, I think the thing I want to do next is to continue work on this mini game by actually creating a bit more of a plan and maybe starting to build some walls. And I think the best way to show this is for a time lapse. So let's go. So as you saw from that time lapse, we have done a lot of work here on the minigame today. I've created a whole load of new rooms. This section here is going to be the nether section, uh, where you've got obviously these uh, nether woods biomes and also uh, this walkway, which is going to be over lava. Um, there's still some more rooms to add here. Uh, but I think this is going to give a good sense of danger, which will be fun. Now over here, I've built uh, this room out of Prismarine. And this, as you can see, is a bit of a parkour puzzle room. Uh, I'm not going to give the exact details of how to do this. Uh, but this is definitely one of the puzzles that needs to be solved. And down here is one of my favourite parts, which is the big ravine. Now this is going to be an icy ravine, uh, it's going to be full of snow and ice, which I think is going to look really really cool, uh, but I really like how it's come along, it definitely feels quite big and majestic. So yeah, those room took a while to build, um, and there's still some more rooms I want to do, some more sections I want to do, but the plan is definitely coming along nicely, and I think the big structural stuff is going to be done very soon. But not only that, I've also been working on the actual puzzles of the minigame. I now have four puzzles completely done. Um, one of which is obviously the combination lock you saw earlier. Uh, but there's other puzzles which I'm not going to show because obviously I don't want to spoil the surprise. But at least four keys are now active and working. Um, so we're about halfway there on the puzzles. We're going to have ten keys in total. Um, so four is a good start. But I think I've done enough for today. I think it's time for something different. And actually, I want to show you something that happened while I was constructing uh, this build. I got a message from Fuzzy about something weird that's been happening on the server. Let me show you. Something weird has occurred. I was just collecting some items for my mini game when I got some messages from Fuzzy. Fuzzy says that he's found some kind of tomb i have no idea what he's talking about uh, but he's asked me to come over so we'll go and check it out oh there they are oh, hello rob reinforcements <laughs> have arrived oh look it's mr creeper yeah. head so uh yeah. yeah this is what i called you over for i don't know if you yeah. like you, do you want to go down first or oh what? What's this? Sus, I, 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 sus this is the creeper hole, there. and I, I picked up the skull, and there was a lime terracotta, which I broke, obviously, because, you know, why not? Yeah. But then there's like some sort of a trap, and I fell down, and there's like stuff. So this was a creeper, yeah. like underneath a creeper explosion? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it, is it safe? I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Master CWG. Okay, you guys have done that. Traps down here. Look. <laughs> I don't see any string what or anything. What is this? No. It is, uh... What? What? Did... No. Yeah, look. It's a lot of concrete. Uh-oh. Bossy concrete. Oh, no. I, I think I start to recognize what that may be. What? Oh! <laughs> Did you not see, <laughs> see it? I didn't even see that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I mean... Is there something in the... Oh, wait, there's, there's a chest. The chest. Oh, there's a chest. Nothing's in it, huh? <laughs> Could it be the creeper no. head? Do we ruin it? I mean, if it's, you know, if it's a big creeper no, it... face, it seems like that would be the logical <laughs> thing to do, wouldn't it? There's a big oh, creeper spot does, behind does, it. Does anybody have gunpowder? Should we chuck it in? Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, it oh. does do something. 
All right, Master SWG, you're the big YouTuber. You yeah, go forward. You, you, I'm the <laughs> Oh my god. All right, I see a, a, a compass. Oh! Parkour, be careful. It's the Church of Creeper Compass. And it's pointing the- The what? The, the southwest. Do we, do, we, do we really want to go? Shall we burn this? Do you want to burn oh. this? <laughs> do we want to see where it leads? <laughs> do we really? I kind of want to see where it goes. All right. I, I, I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> All right. I hope this doesn't go too far. Yeah, I hope so too. Wait, what's that? I got up. What's that? Oh. Is this the... Is this where the compass is pointing to? I mean, I mean, it's pointing in this direction. Let's let's go around it and see if it if it changes. Oh, no, it is. It is. Oh. It's it's going around it towards here. it. Okay. Um, I, I'm gonna go, you know, just a long shot and say that this could be the Church of the Creeper. It, yeah. <laughs> But it looks quite old. So, uh, somebody else oh, going... Our, oh, our, you're already in! in here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, what is this place? Look at this! This is cool! This is awesome. Oh, here, uh, here's, um, what's it called? The lodestone. broken. I don't know, but I'm starting to think that, uh... Yeah. The server might be cursed. <laughs> it yeah, might be. It looks like it. I think the creepers want something out of us. Yeah. They're I mean, gonna keep blowing us up until we do it. Yeah. I don't know what that is. You know what, I'm just walking around without any care in the world, but it could be trapped. Yeah. <laughs> I just realized well, that it could definitely I, I, be trapped. I've, I've been blown up quite a few times, so... Yeah. 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 I will say, there's not a lot of artifacts up here, so... Um, I wonder if there's anything that we can find below her. Below her, that's a word, isn't it? <laughs> Belower. Mo yeah. More below her. More below her. Um, yeah, because I, I because there's not a lot of clues within the this church itself. So yeah, all right, all right. So maybe like some point next week or whenever we can plan it, we'll uh, we'll make yeah. a, a, a thing out of it. So yeah, something very weird has been going on on the server, and this church is very confusing. So as you saw from the last clip, Fuzzy CWG, myself, and other members of the server are planning to actually carry out an archaeological excavation here at the church to see if underneath the church there's any clues to what this is all about. Now this excavation is going to be carried out in the form of a live stream and this live stream is going to be happening next Wednesday the 13th of October at 6pm BST. It's going to be a great opportunity for all the server to come together so Wednesday the 13th of October 6pm BST join us for a fun archaeological dig so i'm very excited for this event but before we can actually uh carry out our archaeological excavation i thought it may be worth building something that will help us in our investigation because we don't know much about this church and i think something that's going to help us understand a lot better is an accelerated mass spectrometer now you may be asking well, what did you just say? Um, and I said, an accelerated mass spectrometer. It's a big machine. Um, we have one in our department and it's used to date archaeological finds. So if we find anything underneath the church or from the church itself, we can work out when it was placed there. I'm thinking actually up here on the hill may be a good place because then we're joining together these three buildings. So my plan for this accelerated mass spectrometer is to have uh, some kind of tunnel uh, where the particles are going to be flying around. So I don't really have a design plan for this, but I've got an idea of what I want it to look like. So I'm going to try and replicate that in Minecraft. Now I think these inside tunnels are usually curved. Um, but I don't think that's something we can do in Minecraft. I think it's going to have to be a square. Okay, I'm just trying stuff out. I'm going to see what happens if I press a button. How do these light up? Oh, I don't, I don't dislike that. I think I've added in the circuit. So if you press this button, yeah, it all lights up and then it lights off. Now I've got to say, this looks nothing like the mass spectrometer I had in mind nor any mass spectrometer that exists 
Um, this is this is very different from all of that. Um, but it's it does look like some kind of machine that does something. And I think that's probably going to be good enough for what we're doing. There's something I hadn't quite considered. I was putting these around it to make it look a bit more like uh, some kind of tubing. But then I didn't realize if you press the button. <laughs> Obviously they open and close because they're trapdoors. I kind of maybe want to keep the top. Like it looks weird, but it's a weird looking machine anyway. Alrighty, I think the machine is ready. Um, I have added in some detailing. I really like these lightning rods that have been used as some kind of like scaffolding, piping kind of thing. Um, yeah, I think also the combination between this carpet and this uh, stone also works very, very well. And I've obviously added the inside mechanism that will be used to date the items. So let's give this a quick go. Let's put an item in the chest. Now, uh, I crafted these rockets the other day. So let's put a rocket in. Then let's press our machine. Oh, there we go. And it says it's from circa 10 years old. Now, obviously, uh, any kind of machine like this is gonna have a margin of error, and that's perfectly acceptable. Um, so it's 10 years off, but because we're calculating probably quite a few centuries, if not millennia, that's perfectly acceptable. So it seems like uh, that is working. Now let's take our rocket back and let's put something else in. Uh, what about my sword? Let's put my sword in. Okay, six years old. Uh, so still a bit of margin of error, but that seems to be working very very well and let's get my sword back cool so i think that is all set for our live stream on wednesday um i think we can say that this is completed and i think that means that this is the end of the episode if you've enjoyed it please remember to comment like and subscribe i am very excited to see what we find on wednesday and i hope you will all Join me for this great adventure. Until next time, thank you all for watching. Bye.